Religion, The Real Matrix, the book based on African spirituality and mythology from ancient Kemet or Egypt. Written by author Heru Ifangbemi, the book shows that all Western religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam plagiarized from African spiritual systems to come up with their religions. Buy the book on Amazon. Link is in the description box. Let's go. Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hit me, Sam Ant, at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. Let's go. And gave the orders and paid the assassination of Malcolm X. Wow. Mm. On their own files. You know, MGM are going to run those stuff and get jammed up if they couldn't prove it. Right. As a consultant for the Project The Godfather, I had the best research team that money could buy. Mm. And the writers, Chris Brancato, Paul X, Moses, they're some of the best in the country. Mm -hmm. With the star, of course, being an executive producer, Boris Whitaker. Mm -hmm. But what's the series? Yeah. You will see Bumpy throw the CIA off of the roof mm. for killing Malcolm. You will see Bumpy Johnson, Malcolm's friend in real life. Still with us, Professor? Oh. The killing who was setting Malcolm up. Okay. Yeah. Malcolm and Bumpy used to play chess, according to Bumpy's granddaughter, Margaret, who was with us when we started the series. She passed away in the second year. Hmm. Malcolm was at their house every Sunday playing chess. Bumpy was an avid checker, I mean, chess player. He beat Bobby Fisher twice. That's mm. how good the man was. He studied poetry under Langston Hughes. This dude was Damn. Him. Wow. Bumpy Johnson? Yeah. The guy wow. Bumpy Johnson. He was a hell of a scholar. Businessman. Yeah. A wow. gangster. That's all we really ever known him for was that. The gangster yeah. part of it. Right. That's why we did the story at the behest of his granddaughter, Margaret. Okay. Who did the original script from which the rest of the script was formed. Wow. Maybe definitely want to go check that series out now. Yeah, it's it out. You're going to get hooked like a whole bunch of people on it. <laughs> it's a nice piece. It tells a good story. Yes, sir. We're not going to hold it too much longer. Of, a lot of history is in there because I saw to it that the history got put in there. And with my partner and brother, you know, Chris Brancato, Paul Eckstein, uh, brother Mark, Forrest Whitaker, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and we had some of the best female actresses in the country. You know, lots the pieces. You may even want to do a show just on that. Right. Just on the Godfather of Harlem. And looking at some of the authenticity where the history was concerned. For sure. We also feature the Reverend Congressman Dr. Adam Clayton Powell. Yeah. With Gene Carlo Esposito playing the role. You know, Gene Carlo ain't no joke. Huh. The brother can really act. You know? I mean, he's something special. Absolutely appreciate that. Appreciate you, Professor Small, and Hip Hop and Sense of Podcast. Don't got too many more questions. I'm going to hold you too long. Definitely appreciate your time and your knowledge. Um, last conversation we had with you, we talked extensively about Kanye West and what mm -hmm. he was currently going through. We've seen recently that Adidas, stuck on a lot of his inventory, are now going to sell it and give proceeds to not only the Jewish community, but communities affected internationally by the hate speech that Kanye West uh exhibited during that time so which they assume but they didn't say anything about the black culture which he obviously offended too maybe not all of us but according to some of us he was offensive by what he said what do you think about that overall what, what adidas stance is well, currently first of all, i don't person. think kanye did any hate speech first let's get to that 
Mm. Neither do we. No one says Jewish people is doing hate speech when they criticize the people who wrongfully created the Holocaust. So how is it that we are doing hate speech when we deal with the people who did our Holocaust? Mm. Or some of the people who participated in our Holocaust. Yes, not, not all Jews participated right. in our Holocaust, but a significant amount of their leadership for centuries did. Not all Irish or Scots or Anglo-Saxons participated in our Holocaust but a significant numbers did for centuries. And unlike other genocide, which happened in a three year period or a 10 year period, our genocide was carried on for centuries. So nobody can say, oh, I didn't know what was going on. It was intergenerational mm. and all white religions and ethnic nations fully participated and profited from the genocide mm. that they dared to call the transatlantic slavery or chattel slavery. Mm. Centuries long genocide that made you very wealthy. The very companies that will continue the genocide in the music industry, in the movie industry, in the news industry, in the television industry. How dare you <clears throat> take a few lines from Kanye and try to play with our minds. Who do you think you are? We read, be grateful that we're not a vengeful people. Be grateful yeah. that we are not a vengeful people. Mm. I was, um, we had, uh, I don't know if you know Harry. Oh, the other Harry, thing I wanted to say oh, about that, yeah. though, I yes, heard they want to give money from the sale of these sneakers to certain people. That's fine. And then have them split the money as reparations <laughs> for mm. their role in the transatlantic slavery <laughs> and right. the enslavement genocide of African people. Then I'm cool with it. Right. Indeed. That's all. I um, I don't know if you, you know, uh, Harry, um, Rabbi Harry Rosenberg. We had him on a few months, maybe five months ago. We asked him about you know the transatlantic slave trade and Jewish participation, and he said that he feels like that we should go to the people, who, the families that actually did the enslaving, to get them to pay reparations. That all Jewish people are pretty much not responsible for it. How you no, feel about that? But 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 but. Nearly all Jewish people, like all white people, profited from it. So then mm. denounce those then who were responsible for it. Tell us who they are. But yes, you sir. can so. Because the literature on slavery that pulled the cover of that element of the Jewish community that was involved was all written by Jewish scholars. Yep. So you've already pulled the cover off. Yeah. It was like the attack on Leonard Jeffries. He got attacked for quoting Jewish scholarship and Jewish writings on elements of the Jewish community's involvement in the genocide called chattel slavery. Remember, chattel slavery was not a work program. It was a centuries-long 
genocide for the right. sake of making money and garnering wealth. Absolutely. So let's not play with what you did. It wasn't a work program that we signed up for. It was genocide. And you made money. Yeah. And you built wealth. And let's come back to Kanye just for a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm a veteran of the U.S. Navy. Okay. With an honorable discharge. We in the Navy understood the term deaf calm. Mm. He did not say death. He said death calm. Yes, he did. And it was three levels. There's death calm one, death calm two, and death calm three. And it means prepare for being attacked by your enemy. With three being the highest level of preparedness and entering a posture of defensiveness. The media knew what he said, and then they decide to lie to the American people for the sake of ratings and sensationalism, not caring who they destroyed or what conflict they created between our two people. <laughs> we know there are Jewish people who died in our movement defending black people. But we're not about being anti-Jewish. Right. There were Jewish people who fought on the side of the North in the Civil War, and there were Jewish people who fought on the side of the South in the Civil War. There were Irish people who fought on the side of the North in the Civil War. And there were Irish people who fought on the side of the South in the Civil War. This is just history. Stop trying to treat Black people like we are stupid. Mm. We are clear on who our enemies are and have been. That's why you do not want to teach our history in schools. That's why you are anti-Black studies and Africana studies in the school system because the truth of the behavior of certain elements of all European populations will be told. Powerful. Have brothers who are white. I will die for them because they will die for me. And I have enemies who are white as I do have enemies who are black. So let's stop playing the throw the stone game and let's tell the historical truth so the youngsters can better understand how to build good relationships across ethnic and racial and religious lines.